Alright, today we're gonna do a review on the Lego Star Wars Separatist, Separatist Spider Droid. Um, age of 7 through 12. Um, number 7681. 206 pieces in 2008 limited edition. It's $30. I got it from, um, uh, Toys R Us. But I don't think you can get it anymore. So let's go on to the minifigures. We got this clown, a regular clown, clown commander, which is basically a droid with a yellow body. Uh, here we have Commander Fox, really good detail. He's really cool. He comes with a visor and um, a regular pauldron, but I took it off so it could look like that one. Very cool. It ha comes with a regular blaster droid, no rocket. And a regular droid. So, let's put this to the side. Here's the droid itself. Features. It can move like that. The gun, this gun can rotate, but it can't rotate all the way because this wire here cannot, is blo touching, um, is blocked by that. Here's the eye sensor. It can move up and down. And here's the bottom gun. Can move here. You can move like that. So it's a really good set. Um, it has good pieces like dark gray, light gray, and dark gray. And these move in by Technic bricks. Um, I like how they add these wires to make it look cool. And. There's a brown piece. I don't know why, but I don't like the brown piece. They should add black or something. But yeah. And on the back of the box, we got the features, which I just explained. We got the Manga Starfighter, which I have. The Visa. Visa. I think it's Visa. I don't know. V, the. I want this, but. It only comes with one minifigure, and it comes with an ATTE. So, yeah, I rate the set a eight out of ten. So, overall, the minifigures were good. The ship was kind of fragile. Well, yeah, it can't stand that good. It, you need to balance it out. So, if you put one leg like that, while the other ones are like this. It's not gonna stand that well. I put them all inside like that. But it looks kinda crooked. Uh yeah. So bye.